So on the screen, you notice I have two web browsers open. On the left-hand side is my Google Chrome browser, and this browser is going direct to the internet. On the right-hand side is my Firefox browser, and this browser is going through Menlo Security's isolation platform. You'll probably notice already that I've had ESPN.com loaded and that in each browser session, the look and feel of ESPN.com is identical. Now, where things begin to look differently is when I look at the source code of ESPN.com. So beginning with the Chrome browser, which again is going direct to the internet, but even if I were going through some sort of web proxy, all the code and content that you see here would be the same. Now, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll notice that there's just over 1,100 lines of code that's required to make up ESPN.com. And of course, within all that code is a variety of scripts as well as callouts to other destination URLs or domains to fully assemble and render ESPN.com. Throughout this entire process, it's my local browser having to reach out to these other destinations, having to download this content, having to execute it before finally rendering it within the local browser. And of course, as we all know, it only takes one element of ESPN.com, of all of this source code, to be malicious or compromised for the end user to be exposed to some sort of ransomware or malware or maybe even some sort of zero-day exploit. Now let's look at the source code when going through isolation. So immediately you'll notice that there is a big difference. There's less than 47 lines of code, but the most important piece here is this script source. So when I'm navigating ESPN.com through isolation, I'm no longer interacting directly with ESPN.com. I'm actually interacting with a thin client out in the Menlo Security Isolation platform. Within that thin client is a surrogate browser that's actually going to ESPN.com on my behalf, fetching and executing all of this content, and then delivering to me via this trusted JavaScript, a safe, sanitized version, or effectively a mirrored copy of ESPN.com where it's rendered locally within my browser. So that being said, no matter what website that I navigate to through isolation, I am gonna be fully protected against any sort of malicious content. Because again, all of the content required to make up the destination website that I'm navigating to is being fetched and executed out in our Menlo isolation platform, out in that thin client, completely away from the end user, and I'm only being delivered a safe, sanitized, or mirrored copy of that website. None of the original content is ever going to be delivered to that end user. So not only do we provide protection against any sort of malicious content, we're also adhering to the principles of zero trust because again, none of the original content is ever going to reach the end user. And that's the beauty of the isolation platform. Not only do we provide full protection against any sort of malicious content, any sort of advanced malware or zero day exploit, we're also adhering to the fundamentals of zero trust. And lastly, just to highlight some of the, the core capabilities that are, that are provided to our customers through our isolation platform, first and foremost, we're absolutely checking that box for zero trust, because like I said, none of the original content of a destination website is ever gonna be delivered to the end user. The browsing experience is going to be identical to if you are at home browsing the web from your personal device, we don't require you to use any sort of custom browser. You can use Chrome, Safari, Edge, Brave, etc. It doesn't matter to us. There's also no limitations to the number of browser tabs you can have open. You can have 10, 20, 30 tabs open. It doesn't matter. You're still going to be fully protected and your user experience is going to be top notch. No client is required at the endpoint. There's also no limitations to the categories you can isolate. We don't focus our isolation on risky categories. You can literally isolate all web categories within our, cat within our catalog, and there's dozens and dozens of categories available. And lastly, rounding this out, 100% protection against malware and ransomware. Every single time you browse the web through isolation, no matter how bad that website is, you are gonna be fully protected against any sort of malicious content.